Good morning and welcome to my YouTube channel, uh, Math with Ease. And in this video, I want us to respond to a question, uh, a KCSE question on the topic number 22 of Form 1, uh, Mathematics, uh, Scale Drawing. And um, it is on slide number 7 of our worksheet. And it appeared one day in a KCSE paper. And I want us to respond to this question. It's a construction question. And we are told, using a pair of compass, using a pair of compass and a ruler, only construct triangle ABC such that AB is 8 centimeters. AB is 8 centimeters. Assuming we have a line segment, we can name this point, point A. And from there, we can measure eight centimeters using our compass. Let's talk about eight centimeters. That is the length of eight centimeters, as you can see, eight centimeters. That is eight centimeters. So from here, we can make an arc there, and that is our point B. This is our point B. And also we are told that BC, is six centimeters and angle a b c is 30 degrees we are not supposed to use protractor but we are we are expected to construct an angle of 30 degrees according to the prior knowledge what we have understood we can bisect an angle of 60 to come up with 30 degrees and that is exactly what we are going to do so from this particular point we can easily construct an angle of 60. And we are now constructing an angle of 60. You have watched this in the previous video in the same topic, uh, in the same worksheet, the same presentation. And if we draw a line here, we may draw a line here, just a faint line to show an angle of 60 though we don't need it all we need to do is we need to bisect that angle to come up with an angle of 30 degrees so once we place our uh, our compass there we can make an arc we are bisecting the angle of 60 and using the same radius we place our compass here we construct another another arc and this is now the angle of 30 degrees from this particular point through, through those arcs intersecting. That is an angle of 60. But again, you remember we are told that BC is 6 centimeters. So we can measure 6 centimeters and make and acquire our line. That is 6 centimeters that is exactly six centimeters so again be careful not to change the radius not to change the length this should be six centimeters exactly and um, from this particular point six centimeters so we know that is point c this is our point c and if that is point c then we can easily join all the points, uh, point A, point B, and point C, and we come up with our expected triangle, and that is our triangle. You may want to confirm the degrees, measure this degree, 30 degrees, exactly. There is no point of measuring, but if you want to confirm, you can do that. Um, then we go further to the question. The question is saying, we have already constructed our triangle and those are three marks. We have three marks in our basket. Measure AC. Measure AC. We are expected to measure AC, the length of AC. That is our AC. Put our compass there and place it on the ruler to get the exact measurement of AC. And according to me, AC is 4.2, 4.2, 4.1, 4.2. So 
So AC is 4.2 centimeters. 4.2 centimeters. That is again one mark. Draw a circle that touches the vertices A, B, C. A circle that touches the vertices A, B, C. The vertices um, A, B, and C. And I want us to be keen here. How do we draw a circle that touches vertices? Be keen and listen to this. If you want to construct a circle that touches all the three vertices of a triangle, then you have to bisect at least two sides of the triangle. For example, I'm going to bisect side AB. That and I'm going to use I'm going to bisect side AB. I'm just going to um, to bisect side AB. That's the radius. I'm bisecting side AB. And using the same radius, I intersect the arc, that one, and that one. So that using now the two arcs, I can draw a line that I believe bisect line AB. Having done that, I need to bisect one more line. I need to bisect one more line. And why don't, don't I bisect line BC? From here, I can reduce the radius. Uh, that one, that one. And using the same radius, that one, and that one. And I can see, now we can join the two arcs to bisect line BC. And there we go. The point of intersection of the two bisectors, the point of intersection of the two bisectors becomes the center of the circle. This becomes the center of the circle with the radius one. Uh, and then you can see we place the pencil in one vertex. And it's going to be supposed to touch all the three vertices. There we go. All the three vertices. You can see vertex A, vertex B, and vertex C. The circle passes through there. Having done that, um, that those are again two marks. Point, uh, uh, question part D. Measure the radius of the circle. The radius of the circle is, of course, now this length of the, of the compass. You measure the radius of the circle. And here we come. This same radius that is from one circumference of the circle to the center, you place it on the, on the again, 4.2. Again, 4.2. It is 4.2. The radius of the circle is 4.2 centimeters. We have seen it for yourself. This is the radius. You may ask, how comes the radius is equals to AC? It happens. This is construction. It has given us the same kind of values. What do we do exactly? That's our answer. And then part E of the question. Part E of the question is asking us, hence or otherwise, Calculate the area of the circle outside the triangle. Calculate the area of the circle outside the triangle. And this is where work is. Calculate the area of the circle which is outside the triangle. This shaded region. We can talk about this shaded region. Calculate the area of the shaded region. The area of the circle outside the triangle. What do we do? We need to have the area of the whole circle minus the area of the triangle. But we don't have the area of the triangle. But we can easily, since this is construction, we know we can create a height of the triangle within or using the same pair of compass and a ruler. What do we do? We need to drop a bisector from C, bisector perpendicular, a perpendicular line, uh, a perpendicular line of uh, uh, to AB that is coming from C. 
we know that by the time it touches AB, it will be perpendicular to AB. And that is the perpendicular height of the triangle. Now that we have the base of the triangle. And the area would be half times base times this perpendicular height. How do we go about this? Uh, from C as the center, we make an arc on line AB, that one, and that one. And then from those centers, from these centers, we make an arc that way. And we make an arc that way. And of course, that way, where the arcs, um, hmm. no, from this center, yes, we make an arc that way. And from this center, we make an arc that way. Where the two arcs intersect, draw it from C, that is perpendicular, a line which is perpendicular to AB. That is true. So what we need to do, we need to measure the perpendicular height of the, of the triangle, which is exactly that. Which is exactly that. The perpendicular height of the triangle. Let's see. The perpendicular height is 3.1 centimeters. 3. The perpendicular height is. The height is 3.1 centimeters. So let us see the area of the circle. The area of the circle minus the area of the triangle. What is the area of the circle? Pi. The area of the circle is uh, pi r squared minus a half times base, which is 8. AB is 8, we were told. 8 times the perpendicular height, 3.1. So, this is going to be 22 over 7, which is our pi, times the radius of the circle, which is 4.2, 4.2 squared minus a half times 8 times 3.1. Let us now use our calculator. We say 4.2 squared, uh, 4.2, 4.2 squared, of course, uh, that is equals to times 22. Um, that is, it divide by 7, we get 55.44. Uh, this part gives us 55.44 minus 0 0.5, which is a half, uh, times 8, times 3.1. We get 12.4. Uh, 12.4. The difference is the area of the shaded region, or rather, the area of the circle that is outside the triangle, which is easily 55.44 minus 12.4, which is equals to 43.04, 43.04 centimeters squared, 43. 0 0.04 centimeter squared. Yes, that's a good question. It's a long one. It's a 10 mark question and very, very good. It's a very good question. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and share widely. And of course, hit that bell. Let us walk together. Thank you.